at the airport. It's the London Pinland International Airport. And it is approximately uh, 7.58 a.m. on Saturday, the 8th of April, 2023. Yay! And of course, I need some Wendy's before boarding on. We made a quick stop at Dunkin' Donuts. We made a quick stop. Look at me.
got you on the camera. So you um, change US dollars to um, peso. And this guy came to our car and immediately felt the need to. This is like um, a clean rental. He decided to just come over just to start wiping in hopes to, I guess, make a few dollars. I don't know. Where are you coming? I guess. Where's Bello? Bello? This gentleman helping him out. See the name. Um, we just arrived, and it's right now. It's approximately seven o'clock. Yeah, seven o'clock. So just got here, and it is extremely crowded. Uh, this compound is extremely crowded. Um, Extremely crowded area, and I'm tired. We've been at it by seven, getting up at seven thirty this morning. Um, connected flight. It's just been exhausted. It's just been a long, long 
Okay. You know, and I think it's just like a two hours drive to get to this, to get to Punta Punta, Punta Punta, I think that's the name. Yeah, so I just want to relax a bit. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> hey. This is like a culture shock for me. I have never seen anyone drive with such aggression on the road as I saw um, persons doing coming here. I've never seen so much scooters on the road and bikes on the road, females driving, three, four people on one scooter. <sighs> it's crazy, you guys. Um, and the people are on the road very aggressive. I'm scared for them, you know, and Bilo is telling me that's the norm, that's, you know, it's, it's okay. The scooters, <sighs> that, that right there I'm not used to, yeah. Scooters, those motorbikes, how people are driving crazy and stuff. How it's so different back home. And people driving and so aggressive on the road and they're not afraid. But it's fine, yeah. You know, everybody's just trying to get to where they need to get to. And nobody is afraid of anything. You know, and then now we just had our getting our you know stay arrangements together um, I think the, the beach is right around the corner because I see a lot of tourists with bathing suits on and everything Whew. I'm exhausted you guys um, but I think Bilo said we're gonna be here for life until the 11th and then we're gonna go to another part I can't remember Everything is in Spanish, so I have to try and get these names right. But for right now, we are Los Corrales Beach Villa. Um, and it is beachy. You know? It's crowded. Let's see. It's extremely crowded. Um, so, yeah. gonna get something to eat um, take these you know traveling clothes off and get cleaned up and and relax a bit but uh, you know, I don't think Bilo wants to stay in I think he wants to get out so we might just do that and this is him trying to get us sorted out are we good baby okay so I'm just sitting here at this little table this is my little, we didn't bring anything to wear because we said we're just gonna buy one of a few things. So, and I'm glad we didn't travel with bags and stuff. It was just too exhausting. And um, yeah, I'm trying to run the mosquitoes off of my, my feet. Um, yeah, I had a long day. I had a long day. But nonetheless, I'm thankful I haven't traveled in so long. I'm thankful to be able to travel and to be here. And we landed safely. We're okay. It was a, oh, the sky was beautiful. You know that yeah, it was beautiful. It was beautiful today. Anyway, until next time. Ciao.